Okay, and here's another segment from me. Uh, this is how you extend your network wirewise to a different location in your house. For most of us in Germany, and in the United States too, uh, the DSL and the wireless doesn't always reach the entire house, especially in the, the German houses where they have the rebar on the wall, the signal's blocked and, and all kind of stuff. So this is the best way to do it. Of course, you see my, my Fritz box right here. That's where my DSL connection comes in. And from there, I go into my wireless. Now, when you're extending the wire, wire you always want to come out of your uh, router that you control. So in that, I have the extender here. It's a 220 version. And they actually have a 115 version in the States. What you do is you plug in one side right here into your router, and then you plug it into the wall. And then I'll show you the other side in just a little bit. Uh, when you, once you have it connected, you'll see all this, the lights light up when it finds the other side. This one here is a uh, 500 megabits. Uh, some go as high as six or seven hundred right now. I think they're working on. The other small ones go from uh, 80 megabits to 200 megabits, up to 500 megabits. And this is how you extend your network. Now, using this, it allows you to extend it to whatever area you need it to. But also, it actually encrypts as it talks to each other. Uh, in a different location, so it's actually encrypted over your wired network because it actually runs it over your over your uh, your power. So what it does is it connects one end of your power and then it connects the other end upstairs. I have four of these in, and I'll show you my other four connections in just a second. So now I'm going to plug this section back in, and then I'll see it make connection uh, with the other ones that are online. Yeah, okay, I brought so. the other side back online. You can see that it's made connections, so it's talking to the other one. So it's talking to the other end upstairs. The reason I say you plug this into the wireless the piece you control, this is how you have security on your uh, on your network it's not, it's not that much more security but at least it's inside and you can control the MAC addresses on the inside of which actually which actually coming in and going out so now you see my DSL uh, from my Fritz box which is coming from uh, the telecom and then my wireless is on the bottom and then you see the cable running up to the ex wired extender so now what this does is sending the signal upstairs over power to the other end which it will decrypt it on the other side and make the signal usable to the other other devices that are connected. Like upstairs I have a, a wired printer and I have a wired desktop. So, And what you do is the other side you connect it up and you uh, plug in your devices you want. Some of these come with four ports, some of these come with one port. The one port you just get another switch and plug it in on the other side. The four ports you only got four devices you just plug it in and that's how it goes. And like I said you always want to come out of your wireless because your, your router which you control that way you can have security on it and control the MAC addresses to have access. Now, this doesn't stop all hackers, but this does stop the majority of the inexperienced hackers. Okay, here's the other side where it comes out. You see it's uh, actually have a, a connection for a power uh, for power to actually continue to use it so you don't lose out all your open power connections. So it actually gives you another connection. And you can see the cable in there, and you can see the cable at the bottom on the ground. You just plug in your device, and this is how you extend your, your wired. Um, they do have wireless versions of this, but the wireless versions I've seen so far, they don't have any type of protection for the encryption. So basically what you're doing is you're extending an open wired network, I mean open, open wireless network. And what you can do with the open, open wireless network is anybody can attach to it beside you. So you don't always want to use that unless you got a particular area where you know there's no access. So me personally, I would not extend the wireless portion myself unless I was in an area where I know there was nobody else. Nobody can drive by and act, just use my network to do any kind of hacking or any other uh, free downloading or anything they want to do. Because some places in Germany get charged by the uh, amount you used. But most of the, the vendors in Germany now just charge you a flat rate per month. Uh, but they only give you so much. They still only give you a limited amount of bandwidth that you can actually use. Like, uh, what's the one we use? Uh, I think Dutch or Telecom, I think they have up to 50... Uh, megabit connections. Um, I'm trying to think of what T uh, T Mobile has. I'm not. I haven't used them in a while. But I'm not sure exactly what they have. Um, TKS has 16 uh, meg connections, up to 32 meg connections. But most areas only have 16 16 meg connections. So depending on what town you live in. But if you're in Germany, this is the best way to extend your wired network to a different location of a house. Um, and this is the best route, I believe. And that's all I have for now. Thanks, and I will see you next time.